doesn't matter who you end up pulling. There's a reason why you end up pulling for Jared and then you pull for Zeke and you come back to Jared and then you come back to Zeke because it's just written. It, 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 they found such a beautiful way to kind of um, tug at your heart, so to speak. These are two uh, uh, really good guys who are love the same woman. And at the end of the day, want the same thing. They just want her to be happy. So you know, have to watch to see who ends up winning. To start off, we got to talk about that question that season three left hanging. <laughs> Jared tells Michaela that she's the love of his life, uh, which is, you know, why he didn't fight for her, which Zeke appears to overhear. So, um, JR, if you would like to start, what can you each say about your character's dynamic with Michaela this season? I'm sure you've heard now we start two years uh, from season three. Uh, season four picks up two years in advance. And, um, yeah, he left uh, another truth bomb her way. Uh, he decurred it, and now they're left to kind of pick up the pieces of what that all means. Uh, he will. Con- I, this is not the first time he's kind of confessed his love to her, obviously, and left it all out there. And I, I would hope at some point he uh, figures it out. Um, no, I mean, I, at the end of the day, you will get the answers to uh, who she ends up choosing. Um, uh, it's tough without giving anything away here, but <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's, I think, I just think the complexities of this triangle have been such, it's so rich and so well-written and um, you just, it doesn't matter who you end up pulling. There's a reason why you end up pulling for Jared and then you pull for Zeke and you come back to Jared and then you come back to Zeke because it's just written. It, 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 they found such a beautiful way to kind of um, tug at your heart, so to speak. These are two uh, really good guys who are love the same woman and at the end of the day, they want the same thing. They just want her to be happy. So you know, I have to watch to see who ends up winning. So. Yeah. And then um, Matt, what is Zeke's dynamic with Michaela going to look like? I mean, they're married. Yeah. And they have been happy. Um, so how is that going to look for them in season four? Well, you know, Zeke overheard it, but but not only overheard it, he felt it because he has this empathic ability. And he felt not only Jared's emotion and, and love for Michaela, but Michaela's emotion and the way that she responded to it. And that's really what he's talking about when he says we need to talk. So um, at the beginning of season four, Zeke has become sort of like Zeke and, and Olive have sort of become like the, um, the breadwinners and the parents at, at Beverly's house. Uh, the talk that Zeke says that they need to have, you do get to see that talk. There's a flashback. There's many flashbacks throughout the first block, especially of 10, uh, 10 episodes of season four. But one of the flashbacks is to the moment when they do have this talk. And uh, it's one of the most memorable scenes that, that for me personally, that, that I had in uh, the first block of 10 episodes. Jared and Zeke aren't the best of friends, clearly. But I mean, Jared, like you said, they're both really great stand-up guys. So is there a chance for peace or even maybe friendship between them in this final season? There definitely is. Um, regardless of not, try not to give too much away, um, they... Like I said, they're both stand-up guys, um, and they want the best for her. So I think they both uh, they realize that there is uh, there is definitely a sense of peace um, and unity uh, and commodity there between both of them that you'll get to experience throughout this these next twenty episodes. Matt, I wanted to ask about Zeke's. He struggles with addiction. Um, obviously, recovery isn't linear. So is this something that is going to continue to challenge him um, in the fourth season of the show? You know, his empathic abilities have progressed so much so that he can actually sort of control them now and, and use them for good. But there's a flip side to that. Um, he They've come to define him and he doesn't really know who he is without them. And that puts him in a dangerous position. So then naturally, a person with his history with addiction issues there's always that temptation there uh, without telling anything definite. I'll just leave it at that. Tease it that that's always there. The struggle is every day, every moment. And when you're at your weakest or you're feeling a certain way strongly, sometimes you, you fail, you falter. Thank you guys both so much for chatting with me. Super excited about the new season. Super glad we got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So are we. You're nice, right? so are we. Yeah. Awesome. Have a great one, guys. Thank you you too. Thank you so much.